Hi, Fish Bell BPM. Thank you so much, Brother Mike, Sis Vea, and Baby, Baby Kyler. Kyler for having us this afternoon to give the message about on the message on Valentine's Day. So we want to greet everyone who's watching. Happy, Happy Valentine's! Alam nyo, ang Valentine's Day, hindi lang kasi siya romantic. Yes. Tama, di ba? Kasi nung bata kami, parang lagi nila may cut-up. Nag-cut-outs din ba kayo ng bata? Mm -hmm. Prime project ng sa school, di ba? Oo, di ba? Kayo rin bang mga nanonood ngayon? Were you... Pinaproject din ba kayo cut-outs ng Cupid? Ako, malaman na yung age natin. Malamang hindi natin ang project ngayon. Ba't yung mga bata ba kayo hindi na? <laughs> Pero ito lang, ha, trivia. Trivia, bago namin introduce yung sarili namin, okay? Sabi nila kasi, okay, ito, medyo romantic tayo muna ngayon, romantic. Para mo daw malalaman kung talagang fit kayo nung taong mahal mo. This is for the married people and for those in a relationship. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ito muna ha. Paano mo daw malalaman kung talagang fit kayo? Kailangan marusukatin yung tenga. Tenga mo. Paano nga ba? Ano mm -hmm. ba? Ganda lang. Sito lang ha. Okay. Tinan yung gagawin namin ha. Sukatin ko yung tenga ko. Okay. Ako. Ako din. Ikaw din. Sukatin mo yung tenga mo. Yes. Tapos pag sinukat mo daw yung tenga mo, tatanggalin mo yung kamay mo. Tapos dito ko. Yon sa to. Okay, okay. Welcome po tayo maging corny dahil Feb ibig naman po. Yes, and we are Drews. And love. And we are the authors of the book. Love, love connect, connect the couple's language to a happy marriage. And we also serve in, in the feast East South Woods in Laguna. Yan. And sobrang salamat at kasama namin kayo ngayon sa aming ni Love last year. Yes, just a <laughs> trivia before we give you the message this afternoon. Last year, before we announced in general quarantine, sa buong Pilipinas, we were there for the last leg of our book tour sa Love Connect. And I remember it was uh, Brother Mike, Mike who led, led the, the worship, worship. tapos binigay ni Drew si message. In other words, ilang linggo po kaming mula sa feast namin. And last feast is Feast Bellevue PM. The following week, wala na po. Quarantine na po. Ngayon, lockdown ngayon. na hanggang ngayon. Naka-lockdown tayo. Pero nagkaroon ng blessing ha. Kasi pre-pandemic, last year, wala pa si Kyler. But now, we are celebrating the blessing of the Feast Bellevue PM family. Amen. And that for sure, you're watching right now, you have a blessing 2020. It mm -hmm. may be a difficult year, yes. but you're still alive. May blessing pa rin sa Lord sa'yo. And let's celebrate Valentine's Day. Valentine's, ang message namin is... LDR. Okay? So, hindi po ito pang singles lang. Mm -hmm. Hindi po ito para sa mga inaakala nyo LDR lang na definition ng LDR. Hindi lang din siya para sa mga married couples ha. Para siya sa buong pamilya. In other words, if you have relationships in your life, which I assume you have, mm -hmm. this message is for you. Because Valentine's Day is not just about romance. Yes. Hindi siya about chocolates lang, flowers lang, ano pa ba? Hindi siya, siya, hindi, siya, hindi siya about Shopee lang at Lazada lang ng mga <laughs> ng add to cart na, di ba? It's all about God's love for us. That's why, okay? This is the perfect time for you to also connect with your loved ones. Mm -hmm. okay. So, paano nga ba sila kung sila Yes, sila? so, for sure, meron kayong mga taong na miss or meron kayong mga taong gusto nyo i-invite every Sunday here in the Feast Bell VPM. So, go ahead, tag your family and your friends because this is the best bonding ever online. So, Type their names and then just greet them. Happy Valentine's! Pusuan yun ang pusuan ng pusuan tung video na to because we have to spread love all over the world. Or share the link of this video to your GC, to your Facebook page, FB groups, lahat na magsama-sama kayo, magfeast belly kayo ngayon, di ba? Kaya na sa ang party masira ng mundo. And the Bible verse we want to share with you right now is this. Alam nyo? Sobrang love na love tung tung. Hala ano ano para? Itong Bible verse na pinili namin, ito yung perfect na pang pakilig na yung Valentine's Day, di ba? <laughs> Whether you're a, you're a student, you're, you're single, you're in a... Basta, ito lang. It's taken from John chapter 11, verse 35, and this Bible verse is... And, and Jesus, Jesus wept. wept. Ayan. Sana ang nakakakilig doon, brother. <laughs> Umiyak si Jesus. Umiyak si Lord. And why we chose this Bible verse? Kasi ito yung Bible verse kung saan si Lazarus, yung friend ni Lord, namatay. And... Gusto ng gusto namin ni Love to for Valentine's Day kasi this is where we can see that God is never transactional. Mm -hmm. You know that there are some people who can be just transactional but God never is always relational. Yes, I love it because it really shows that God is the author of love and you can never uh, put him out of any life relationships. And maybe you're thinking Valentine's Day is just about kilig all about the material things we can give to our family and friends. But no, it really entails a lot of sacrifice. In other words, pwede naman ni Lord pagalingin nila mas ang tao, bigay sagot sa dasal mo, magkaroon ka ng love life mo, i-patch na yung brokenness ng mga family members, at, at kung ano pa, di ba, tapos na. 
But no, he's so relational that he even wept when Lazarus died. Because God values relationship. relationship. And he values his relationship with you who's watching this online feast right now. It's not an accident that you're watching this video. It's divinity. God wants to speak to your relationships right now. God is going to perform miracles in your life. Amen. God is going to... Let's, let's declare this. Yes. God wants you to experience heaven wherever you are right now. Now. Yes, I love that. And I want to build up on that. That's why we have to prophesy healing after healing. If you feel that you are alone at this very moment, God is with you. That's why we want to share this message. Love needs to be experienced and love needs to be expressed. Ang hirap niyan kasi may mga tao, boyfriend ko siya, girlfriend ko siya, talaga alam niya, hindi niya pa alam. Pag nanama niya, break na kami. <laughs> Di ba? Ang hirap ng ganun. In other words, baka mamaya, you love your parents, yes. You love your, your siblings, yes. Pero ikaw lang ang nakakaalam na love mo sila. Mm, oo, or sa mga mag-asawa naman, especially if you've been married for like 20 or 25 years and you keep on thinking, Routinary na yung love. My spouse already knows that I love him or I love her. Pero kailangan din lang maramdaman. Not just for today, ha, but every day. That's why Valentine's Day is a great day for us to be reminded of God's love for us. That God is building relationship with us every day. Every, alam nyo, feeling nyo tayo ang nandiligaw kay Lord. Lord, mahal mo naman kami. But kung alam nyo lang, every day si Lord ang nandiligaw sa atin. Every day, God is expressing His love for us, for us to experience Him with everything. Sumulang mo na sa, sa buhay, sumulang mo na sa oxygen, at kung ano-ano pa. Kaya sa mga singles na nanonood na feeling nyo walang naniligaw sa inyo, meron. Araw-araw nililigawan kayo ni Lord. Kaya magpaligaw na kayo. <laughs> And the verse that we want to, the next verse we want to share with you is this. In John chapter 15, verse 12 to 13, it says, My command is this, Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this. To lay down one's life for one's friends. What do we mean by this? Ang ganda ng verse na to. Kasi lahat tayo, we want to, alam mo yung, we want to sacrifice for your friends, you want to sacrifice for your loved ones. Nung first time mong, ito na yan eh, di ba? Paano mo malalaman doon kapag in love ang tao? Let's go to romantic first ha. Paano malalaman doon kapag in love ng isang tao? Paano? May change na mangyayari sa buhay niya. Mm. Sadali maging masipag siya. Mas madasali. Madasali. Sadali mag, magsusuklay yan. Mag, just, <laughs> there's a change. Just, diba? There's a change is gonna happen. In other words, we, we all think about love as doing something for another person. But Jesus was telling him more than that, sacrifice, laying one's life for one's friend. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there's no greater love than this. Parents sacrificing for kids. Kids sacrificing time to study, to, to, to honor their parents. And so, at, kung ano-ano pa sa buhay mo. That's why in this LDR, we want to share with you three types of LDR where in some in, in one of this LDR maybe you can relate or resonate and let's see on how God wants to speak or to maybe you. you know someone na pwede mong itag sa comment section kasi naalala mo siya basta yung pwede mong itag ha para walang away o oh, para walang away di ba okay so let's begin number one is long, long distance, distance relationship. relationship you can take it literally or figuratively ha dumo tayo sa literal especially now we know that in every household meron at meron tayong overseas Filipino worker na family member. That's why Valentine's Day, it is reminding us about God's love. In what area of our life is God calling us to die for our families or for our loved ones? Again, in this talk, think about all your life relationships that matters most. Yes. Kasi ito yung mga parte ng buhay mo na Mahalaga sila, pero may nangyayari ba? May ginagawa ba kayo? So maybe long distance, it's because not just yung boyfriend, girlfriend na ang layo nyo, magwe-webcam pa kayo, mag-skype pa kayo, or my God, dumana ka tayo Skype, no? <laughs> FaceTime, Zoom, o kung ano man yan, di ba? So whatever you're doing, but this is the perfect time as well for you to, to think, in what way can I love my loved ones when there's distance, physical distance, miles away? Yes, especially now that it's becoming harder because you cannot just travel anytime or any time na gusto mo talaga, di ba? So for, for those who are thinking na meron ba kaming long distance relationship, think about your family members, your relatives, or your loved ones who are far away from you, those who are not here in the Philippines, or maybe nandito kayo sa Manila, nasa province yung mga family members nyo. And minsan, ito yung nagiging hindrance for us to express our love. 
this will be a, a reason for us na hindi ma-express or maparamdam sa kanila ang pagmamahal. I remember when my siblings went for abroad, they migrated because they already have their own family. We found ways to be more creative in reaching out to one another because sa business ng life natin, minsan malilimutan mo na rin talaga. And I want to honor love and their family for that kasi nakita ko yung may kanya-kanya ng pamilya pero they always find time to connect through Facebook, FaceTime, group chat, um, FB, yung mga, basta lahat na lang ng pwedeng ways to, to connect. That's, uh, that's why you want to share in long distance relationship, remember to always have connection. Mm-hmm. Connection. Kasi naalala ko pang married couple to ha, pinagtanong, how can I have that same love pero magkalayo kami ng asawa ko? Yes. And then, when when I think we, we interviewed um, another uh, parang gentle parenting ano, diba, from uh, Denmark, sabi niya, there's no, there's no difference. In other words, the same love that you can give online through technology, ibigay mo lang. Yes, you can find out yung love language na, na mahal mo sa buhay. Gusto ba niya yung ina-affirm mo siya? Maybe if you're doing a video call, you can tell them, Oh wow, you look great today. I noticed that you have a good um, aura today. Or affirm kung anong alam mo mm-hmm. for not giving up on life. Yes. For working hard, affirm. Or kung alam mo na mahilig sa gift. It doesn't have to be grand, di ba? Maybe you can have it delivered, especially nowadays. Sobrang hype talaga ang, ang pagdeliver yeah, Last ng Christmas, bahay. ang galing lang na-appreciate namin nila because of what happened na pwede pala kahit malayo. Mm. Nagpa-deliver kami sa, sa ibang bansa, di ba? Online, tapos True. charge na lang sa'yo. Ang galing lang coming from, usually ni Papa sa Pilipinas, di ba? Pero this time, pwede nang from Philippines, ikaw naman magpadala sa kanila. Bibili ka naman. Be creative in, in different ways, di ba? Quality time, give it to them, acts of service, do something for them online. And to those who are watching us right now, if you can relate to us na meron kayong Viber group, meron kayong GC ng buong family, let us know and you can share in the comment section ano mga ways that you are doing creatively para naman magkaroon na mas matinding connection with your family abroad. And we want to share this. If, again, nakwento na sa Fisto, I think years ago, if you're an OFW and you're not with your family right now, always have a deadline when to go home. Mm-hmm. Always have a deadline when to go home. Again, God values relationship. May kusap nga akong taxi driver, grab driver one time. Sabi namin, all sacrifices eh. Mamili ka lang. What is your sacrifice? Is it to have more time with your family but then money is your problem? Is money is your sacrifice na talagang paghihirapan mo or you'll have more money pero time naman sa family yung wala. Both sacrifices. You just yes. choose. So we honor you for having a sacrifice. But, Valentine's Day, it's a good reminder that God is telling you, maybe you can die a part of your life by giving your time, spending time, reaching out. When was the last time na kumunekta ka sa mga taong malayo siya physically? Yes. Diba? Especially your family members or baka friends. I love it kasi maybe you are watching us not from the Philippines. Maybe you are watching us from abroad. Pwedeng OFW ka mismo na nanonood. It's a perfect time for us to reconnect with our family and loved ones. Yes, exactly. And number two, okay? Connected to, maganda to kasi baka long distance relationship pa rin to. Mm-hmm. But number two is this. It's called lockdown relationship. relationship. Wow, sige, pakikwento sa kanila. Lockdown Ayan, relationship. Kasi lahat tayo naka-experience, diba? It's more than, ah, almost a year na pala tayo naka-lockdown. It's on and off. Iba-ibang tao, GECQ, ECQ, lahat na ng Q na ranasan natin for the past 11 months. Banana and, Q. <laughs> yeah, natuto rin tayo umorder ng iba-ibang small businesses ng mga friends and family members natin. But what is it very um, challenging for the lockdown relationship in all life aspect? Ha? Kasi hindi lang siya yung parang for married couples, hindi lang siya for friends. Lahat ng life relationships natin affect because of this lockdown situation. Actually, when we talk about lockdown relationship in the season of quarantine, nilabas niya ang mga wounds na kailangan ma-heal. That's, that's what I, how I see it, no? Kasi may mga families na pinagsama-sama ni Lord, pero hindi sila sanay na magkasama sila. It's simply because the world, the system of the world programmed us to have your time na morning until night to work and only be home evening as hindi, hindi ka sanay na kasama yung family members mo. And so now, kaya nga sabi nila, panagyari na tayo yung mga tao, what do we do? Yes. How can we have our love back? Na focus sa tayo sa responsibilities. And in this lockdown, if you think that it's it, the devil made it for you, no. 
again, the devil can mean, mean harm, but God meant it for good. Sabi niya, hindi, you're not in prison. You're with your loved ones at home. And it was a perfect time for you. Kanina connection, now you continue it, you now need to have compassion. Yes. That's why we always say that this pandemic did not really remove the life specials, but it really brought out life essential in, in our different life relationships. So that's why we need compassion. Sa mga mag-asawa na hindi sanay ng magkasama, this is the perfect time for you to really sit down and address whatever it is na nakaka-affect sa married life nyo. Maybe for the parents who are having a hard time reaching out and connecting to your kids, this is a perfect time to really understand from the perspective of your kids. And, wait, hindi taka sa mga children dyan, ha? vice versa. Maybe it's a perfect time for us. Like, in our generation, ha, sandwich kami ni Drews, we are raising our child, and at the same time, we are relating to our parents as well. Ano ang katawa kasi dyan? Wala silang oras sa akin. Na sadali may oras naman sila ngayon sa inyo. Tapos ang problema man, lahat na lang napapansin, di ba, yung mga ganyan. But, this is the perfect time to, to have compassion. What do I mean by compassion? Alam mo, this, this lockdown, ang dami ni propose. Oh, 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 this yeah. lockdown, ang dami ni express ng love. Bakit? Lord, mag-end of the world. Itag niya yung mga kilala niya. Diba? Na- natakot sila eh. Parang suddenly, anytime pala, bad things can happen. So, I want to express my love for you right now. And if you can express that love to your crush, if you can express that love to that friend na na-meet mo one year ago or a month ago, what keeps you from expressing your love to your family? nakasama mo buong buhay mo mula nung nabuhay ka. Mm-hmm. And it's, that's why a lockdown relationship, more compassion, in business, in business, people have been saying, this is not the perfect, well, it's good, you can still make money, so there are people who lost their jobs, but when you make money, it, this is a beautiful reminder to make a difference before making money. Agree. And, and in your family life, lockdown relationship, you're in lockdown, God wants to heal your relationships. Yes, so if this is a perfect time for you to reflect on this message. First, long-distance relationship. Second is lockdown relationship. Ano yung mga bagay na hinihil sa inyo ni Lord at patuloy pa niyang hinihilom sa buhay niyo? Maybe things na nangyari pa sa inyo from childhood na ngayon na nag-resurface because you had so much alone time or time to reflect on your own. This is the perfect time for you to ask yourself, ano nga ba yun? At saka, let's go back to our verse. Greater love has no one has than than this. That that's to lay down one's life for one's friend. And in lockdown relationship, in what ways did you lay down your life for someone in this time of pandemic? To that friend and hirapan, to that friend and walang trabaho. Have you laid down your life to that father, your your parents na nahihira, maybe din pinapalang siya may challenge sila sick people afraid of going to hospitals or being treated afraid of will it this be the end of my life already mm-hmm. students having a hard time or teachers online school adjusting in what way is god calling you to help other people during this lockdown season and i want to, to connect to everyone who's watching us right now if there is someone or there are people na komonekta sa inyo for the past 11 months during this lockdown period and you felt yung Valentine's Day spirit sa, sa kanilang mga tao, tinulungan nila kayo, they reached out to you, go ahead and tag them because I, I know a lot of people who had so much compassion during time of quarantine. People who delivered food for Amen. elderly people Amen. kasi Amen. mga senior citizen hindi maka, makalabas. I know Mia and my brother Monshay Bueno na meron silang um, kapitbahay na, na diagnosed with COVID na walang gustong tumulong kasi nga Sinong gustong lumapit po na, na COVID positive? Ka, diba? So what they did is that sila ang bumuli ng grocery for, for that. Day and Fish Alabang has been very, very helpful for uh, during the time of pandemic. Mm-hmm. Kaya this lockdown relationships. Look at your relationship in this lockdown. Ano yung mga naapektuhan ng lockdown sa buhay mo? Mm-hmm. And thank you so much for, for helping other people, for dying a part of your life for other people. And in what area, again, is God calling you to? Na-imagine ko lang kayo na when you were speaking, Valentine's Day, ang dami mga puso sa labas, cutouts, hearts, flowers, at kung ano-ano pa. Bakit di natin paingayin ng cross ni Lord Amen. in this lockdown season? The real heart. Diba? The real heart, the heart with the cross, or we call it the sacred heart of Jesus Christ. When when you go in your in, in helping other people, let people know that there is God. Maging maingay tayo. 
You don't know the Bible. Hindi mo memorize siya, di ba? But, but still, your love is speaking the Bible already. And I want to speak uh, deeper to all the parents who are watching us right now. We always believe kami ni Drews that leadership starts at home. That's why this is a perfect time for you to have that lockdown relationship. Alam mo yung sinasabi na, di ba? Pag naka-lockdown yung, yung, yung family, mas nagiging close sila ulit. Why? Suddenly, magkakasama na ulit kayong kumain sa umaga. Mm-hmm. Suddenly, magkakasama na kayo ulit mag-pray. Suddenly, you can watch Feast Bellevue PM online all together and worship God. And this is a perfect time for you to heal your relationship with one another. This is the perfect time for your love to be experienced and to be expressed for one another. Amen and amen. This lockdown, sa amin nila, talaga, sabi ko, wow, since we're introverts as well, mas nakapag-usap kami, adjust kami, so mm-hmm. sana ni Anya, with our, with my in-laws as well, lumalabas ang kailangang i-heal sa buhay mo. Talaga. And let God heal you. Let God heal you with this Valentine's mm-hmm. Day. Number three, the last LDR is less the damning relationship. <laughs> Ilabas na natin lahat ng mga hugot na yan. If you can see in that slide, <laughs> nakamask yung mga tao na yan. Because I think, ito na yung naging challenge ng mask, di ba? Mm-hmm. Na parang, less yung emotions natin, less yes, yung empathy, speak, uh, less yung connection, less din yung somehow yung compassion din kasi hindi mo nakita yung totoong emotion sa tao. Ano ba tong less damdamin ni relationship na to? Ito yung ibig namin sabihin, yung mga taong magkakalapit, magkakasama, pero magkakalayo pa rin. In other words, meron bang relationship, important relationship or relationships in your life Magkasama kayo, pero ang puso nyo makakalayo. Kasi less ang expression nyo. Less ang damdamin ninyo. Less yung tipong, parang wala lang. Lahat na lang, routine na lang ang nangyari sa buhay nila. O, oh, pwede rin responsibility. O, pwede naman din na may expression, pero negative yung expression. Laging galit, laging nakasimangot, lagi na lang masama ang loob. Sabi mo, alam naman nila yon mahal naman nila ako. Alam ko namang mahal na nila ako, parang ganyan. Eh, pero kailangan nga ma-express at ma-experience. I remember there's this one um, wife na nag-message sa akin na parang this uh, this time na parang laging sinasabi na masabuti pa yung mga OFW couples kahit magkalayo sila magkalapit naman yung puso nila kasi sa aming mag-asawa na magkasama kami sa bahay same ang inuwian same na kwarto ang tinatabi na tinutulungan namin but we feel like magkalayo kami mag-asawa kung kanina sabi namin is connection yung pangalawa is compassion pangatlo is Communication. communication. In other words, gusto kong ikwento sa inyo to. Malamang alam niyo naman na to, pero we always love to share this message. When it comes to the matters of relationship of the heart, always express it. While you can, anytime, anywhere, na na pwede mong ibigay. Uh, love is very expressive. Siya yung nagturo sa akin na tipong, um, alam mo, open kasi kami open kami na pag ginabigay, hihingin namin. Hindi namin, hindi namin naantay na, hindi nyo nabigay sa akin. Bu- At huwag nyo hintayin na hingin sa iba or diba? hingin mo sa Oo, iba. Oo, hindi po. Bukas ulit, pag di nyo binigay, mag-aaway kami. Hindi open kami. Mami, hindi mo ako in-affirm ngayon. Kaya salam, hindi mo ako hinahug today. And so, bibigay namin. That's that's how how open we, we, we are. I remember kung saan nagsimula yung openness namin na to. Um, it was nung nagsimula pa lang kaming friends ni Love. Tapos kumain kami sa isang uh, huwag ko nang banggitin kasi baka i-promote ko pa dito kung saan tayo kumain na fast food. And then sabi ni Love sa akin, pwede tayo ng church ng chapel sa Greenbelt. And sabi ko, bakit? Manihigaw kayo siya sa akin na joke. <laughs> sabi niya, pwede tayo ng Greenbelt. Kasi, basta may sasabihin ako sa'yo, sabi, ah, sabi ko, ba? Aamin ah, ba siya na pagmamahal sa akin? Hindi. Ito yun, pagpunta doon, sabi niya sa akin, since we're, we're having a deep friendship already, sabi niya, if we really want I really want to have a good friendship relationship sa kanya. Di ba? Sabi niya sa akin, you need to be open. You need to be open. And then, ang ginawa namin, nag-expose kami ng aming mga past, ng aming mga secrets, ng aming mga wounds, ng aming mga, lahat ng aming mga tinatago sa buhay, but no judgments. It's really to, kaya nga sa simbahan kami, it's really to expose it to God, to ourselves, and then we made it a habit in an agreement between the two of us that we will always be open to each other. Yes. And it helps us. Because I really believe that there's no amount of chocolates, no amount of flowers can really cover up for the dark secrets that you have, the, the things that you've been trying to conceal for your life. Because every time you expose it to your spouse or to your loved ones, 
Kasi kakar ng healing talaga. And, and that's why we are sharing this with you. Kasi when my mom was diagnosed with cancer, sobrang lahat na express namin sa kanya. Alam nyo, may mga tao nagsasabi, di ba, yung namatay yung magulang ko, namatay yung kapatid ko, di man lang ako nakapag I love you, namatay yung ganito, hindi ko malang nabigay itong ganito. Sa amin nila, wala kaming ganun. Wala akong sayang, di ko nabigay. Kasi sobrang na-express namin. Ang sayang ko lang is sayang, marami pa akong pwedeng ibigay. Yun lang sayang na pinanghinayangan namin. But, we want to always share this message to you. Express, communicate, Don't wait for for sickness or or death to happen in your life. If someone needs to die, let the pride die in your life so that yeah, you can I express really, it. Yeah, I really I want that. I really love that because maybe you're thinking literally, kailang ko ba mamatay para sa kanya? No, a part of you needs to die. Your pride, your envy, your selfishness. Yun yung mga pagsisilos mo, yung mga bagay. <laughs> Comparisonitis mo sa life. These are the things that need to die in our lives. And it doesn't happen overnight or it doesn't happen just on Valentine's Day. It's really an everyday decision commitment. Exactly. And some in the love, we've been applying that all throughout. Not perfect. Not easy. Not easy. <laughs> but ginagawa namin. And we always want to say this. You're watching this right now. God is telling you to express love. You're a parent. Express love to your children. I also want to speak to the people who feel that I keep on expressing juice and love, but I feel like walang bumabalik sa akin. I feel like no one's expressing love to me in return. You are not alone. Maybe you think that right now you feel wounded, you feel you're hurt, but God is whispering to you at this very moment through this message, God loves you and He will send angels to you to show that love. So please receive that. And also, check mo lang din muna, baka meron naman binibigay sa'yo pero not the way you want them to give to you. Diba? So self-love naman yung, yung yeah, hindi sa sa'yo. I love that. Diba? Again, communication express. Parents to children, children to parents. Don't wait. Bigay nyo lang, di ba? Bigay nyo lang. Or kapatid, when was the last time you texted and appreciated your siblings? Mm-hmm. Said thank you or to your parents. When, 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 is, when will be the time, the plan that you want to say I love you to them? Ay, oh, nakakaiyak yan. Kasi, diba? especially if you are the youngest, like me, I'm the youngest, I saw all my siblings leave our home. Tapos parang nakita mo, emptiness na emptiness na yung, yung house, no? So, please go ahead. Do not delay what you can express today. Kaya nga sabi ko, eh, kung di mo siya nabibigay pa, kung di mo na-express pa ang love mo sa mga taong importante sa buhay mo, kailan mo, kailan mo planong ibigay sa kanila iyan? This Valentine's Day, there's no greater love than this. To lay down, to lay down one's life for one's friend. Subukan mo. Simulan mo. Sa madali muna, text message ba? Hug ba muna? Emoji ba muna? muna ba? Emoji ba muna? Gawin mo. Mind you, there was this, there's fa- a father na, na nakarinig niya itong talk na to. Tapos, abuse siya ng nanay niya in a way of uh, physical abuse. Talagang binugol ko siya. Patagal siya, naglaya siya, maaga siya nag-asawa, nag-aanap. Nung nalaman niya ito, umuwi siya ng probinsya just to hug and say, I love you to his mom. Inaka pa siya, hindi. Pero iyak siya ng iyak, sabi niya, ang sarap palang akapin ng nanay ko na nakit sa akin. And it healed them. Because along the way, ulit-ulit na ginagawa, it healed them and it became better. Now, this is it. If you've been doing this, keep on doing that. Level up nyo pa. And I would always want to say this. Every time you heal a portion of your life, your past generations, yung mga sobrang nag-lurk sa generational scenes nyo na, they're thanking you right now and you are freeing the next generations from this from this bondage that's 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 making your family hurtful so go ahead it is blessing your family and the generations to come that's why less damdamin yung relationships baka meron ka niyan kasi less expression ang ginagawa ninyo and uh, again as we end this this message we want to share with you this valentine's day we have our last ldr diba ha may pangapat pa Meron. This is the LDR that God is telling you right now, which is love deepens relationship. relationship. Only love can deepen relationship. Without love, there's no real relationships. That's why we even want to touch social media. Kasi, alam nyo, with social media, ang dami na eh. Ang dami ng pagpapanggap, ang dami ng comparisonitis, ang dami ng Ang dami ng inggit, ang dami ng ngayari, ang dami ng... But I would always want to say this, ha? Social media is not evil. Yeah. It's really up to the person who is using it. That's why if you are 
uh, watching us right now, look at this. Social media is being used to to be a um, a channel of God's love for for the, the word of God to be spread. That's why I said nga, di ba, that the church has left already the building. We are now online and just We're the imagine, church. Yes. And what we just want to say is this. Don't let social media be a third party you know, in all your important relationships. Let it be a bridge. Yes, in, I love that. Uh, let it be a bridge to your relationships. Communicate, love, a deepens relationship because the last C we want to share is this commission. I love that. Commission. Why do we have this? Why do we want heaven and earth? Why do we want God? Why do we worship the Lord? Bakit online na tuli pa rin natin to? Bakit nahihirapan na serve ka pa rin? Tumututug ka pa rin? Nanunood ka pa rin? Why? We're all gonna die someday. So why have this? Because it's all about commission. Because it's all about God's salvation for us. Kaya nga ang ganda ng film eh, heaven on earth. Because God wants to have heaven while we're alive and then we go to heaven when we live here on earth. I love that. That's why if you, right now you feel that there is something that is lacking in your life, if you're single and you feel like wala kang kasama ngayon Valentine's Day, or you feel that you're alone, you're isolated, that there is lack in your life, no, you are complete, you are enough. For all the married couples who are thinking, hindi naman sobrang expressive yung asawa, hindi ko siya mapilit na mag I love you sa akin, there is always a creative way for you to reach out and have that love expressed in the family. So as we as we end this, I want to share this verse from John chapter 15, verse 12 to 13. Again. Again, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. But, if you continue it more, it says, ang ibig sabihin ni Lord Jesus, I will, et, etong sinasabi ni Lord eh, sa mga kasama niya, I will lay my life for you. I will lay it down for you. And he's, and he's telling us right now, I already laid my life for you. Yun yung ibig sabihin doon. Kasi he's calling us friends. Sabi niya, if you follow me, I am your friend. And my, this is what I want to share with you. And then Love's gonna share her last message to you. Naalala ko lang nung nagsimula kami ni Love tapos nung nagkasakit si Mama, there was a message from the Lord. Ang message ni Lord sa akin was, Bruce, before you're gonna have what you're praying for, the up in your life, may dip muna pa baba. And sabi ko, Lord, anong dip pa baba? Pero ang sama, ang sama ng kutub ko, Lord, is, it, is, it, is there someone, may mamamatay ba sa buhay? Huwag naman sana magulang ko, okay? and then mama was diagnosed with cancer. To cut the story short, I felt like it was the down portion of my life. And I was telling, Lord, paangkat na ba ako ngayon? And suddenly, I was closing deals in my sales business. Is this it? Is this going up already? Pero nawala. Nawala yung message nila sa akin. Nalimot ko siya totally. Until one night, I was pre- uh, playing with my daughter, Anya, and with love. Nagganap kaming kulitan namin na gigil every every night before matulog. I was, nagkalaro kami na ako nakatalikod, si Anya sa likod, aharap ako, yung ngiti ng anak ko at ng asawa ko na nakita ko. My name is my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> Naalala ko bigla yung message ni Lord na, Dus, babawang muna tayo bago umakyat. And you know what God's message to me was, was this? I never told you that ang pag-akyat means material blessings. And I never told you na it is my condition na kailangan mo nang bumaba bago umakyat because I'm not a rude God. I'm not a cruel God. I was telling of what's gonna happen. I'm journeying with you. And you already have it. When you were taking care of your mom, you're already up. Kasi nung nakita ko si Anya at saka ng asawa ko, sabi ko, Lord, if this is what heaven feels, then it's true that family is but an earlier heaven. So, every time you do, you have love in your relationships, you're having heaven. <laughs> Amen. So if you, at this very moment, if you feel that you experience long distance relationship or if you're in that situation, if you feel that you're very much affected by lockdown relationship or less than damaged relationship, always go back to that beautiful message that love deepens relationship and that God is the author of love and that we were created in his own image and likeness. Therefore, we have the power and the ability to give love everything. That's why with what Drew said, I want to build up on that. That heaven here on earth is for us to experience and to share love. That's why I want to share a part of our book, Love Connect the Couple's Language to a Happy Marriage, about 
do not delay what you can do today. So today, let's make this a jump start for us to express our love. Do not delay love. Do not delay forgiveness. Do not delay joy. Do not delay peace. Do not delay kindness. Do not delay moments together. And do not delay being a spouse to each other, like a family member. Do not delay, delay gives, giving something that you have and will bless others, especially your family. You hold back because you know that not everyone will reciprocate. Give it anyway. Maybe your partner is not like you, your family member is not like you, but it doesn't change anything. The Lord is using you as an instrument to bless you and your family. If your parents are still alive, do not delay loving your parents. Hug them and say, I love you, thank you, and I appreciate you. Do not delay because life is fleeting. We live every day, yet life is too short and too short for doing only what we want. Make your life worthwhile. Live your purpose. Live to love and start at home. Start with your spouse or family member. Have a long and happy life by filling it with love and learnings, most especially with God. And again, do not delay what you can do today. Perishable. Do not delay. Life in relationships. Perishable. Perishable. Do not delay.